just doing a tutorial on how to get the Moguni mod for Final Fantasy IX onto the Steam Deck. So just before we start, I highly recommend having a keyboard because there's going to be a good amount of typing you're going to need to do. So just highly recommend it for this install. So first, you know, you go to the website, download the mod. And I've already got it downloaded here, and I've already extracted it into this Mogri folder. So you can see the exe for the Mogri mod. Next up, we want to have Final Fantasy IX downloaded, obviously. I would highly recommend installing Final Fantasy IX onto the SSD and not the micro SD card. Just because if you try to install the mod to the SD card, it slows down the machine to a crawl. I'm assuming it's just because it's trying to move a lot of files onto the micro SD card and it's slow, whatever it might be. I highly recommend just having it on SSD, but I'll show you how to install it in the micro SD as well. So once we have it installed, you want to go to Manage, Browse Local Files, and just to see where the Final Fantasy IX files are, this is important, we're going to need this file path soon. All right, next up, now that we're done with that, let's go add a non-Steam game. Let's go to Browse. And if we go to slash home slash deck in the downloads folder, that's where I downloaded the mod. This is where I extracted it to, right? If I show all files, there's that mod file. So let's just open. And then let's hit add selected program. So if I look up Mogudi, there it is, right? Go to properties, compatibility, force proton, doesn't matter the proton version, just let it default to the latest one. Then afterwards, now for the give the installer access to the SD card. Not that I'm going to use the SD card for this install, but if you want to add this to the SD card, you gotta go into the properties and we gotta grant the program access to it. So if we scroll down, oh no, this, well, first we need to click on the mod itself. Properties. Now if we go to here, launch options, this you're gonna need this to copy and paste this launch op option. So for this launch option, there is a space here in between the command and this path. And this path is the path to your SD card. So you get the path to your SD card by going down to your actual SD card. And in here, you can see the path. So you just copy paste that into this location and then have this percent command with that, there, this, with that space after the path. So just copy this and let's just paste that into the launch options which will just give Mogany Mod access to the SD card if you choose to save it there. Cool, now that that's done, let's hit play. Installer pumps up, and now this is the part where there's gonna to need to be some typing. So if we click browse, and browse to, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Um, let's just go to like home deck. Let's just go to like downloads, right? If you select it, it doesn't remember that you selected it. And that's really the problem right now. By the way, the random flashing that's popping up is the Steam Steam keyboard attempting to, whenever I click here, it, attempt, it detects that it's a text input and tries to set up the on-screen keyboard. You could ignore the, the glitchiness. So since the, the browsing doesn't work, what we need to do is we need to manually put it in, input it in. So if we go to browse and click, you can see that the SSD is the Z drive, right? The micro SD card will probably be the E drive, but you should just make sure. But anyway, since we know it's the Z drive, we could take this path, the Final Fantasy IX path, and we could just manually type it, type out the Z drive, um, the, Z, the, the Windows equivalent path. So let's go to the notepad. And you can see I already wrote it out, but this was the path in Linux. And for it to convert it into the, uh, what you need for the Mogri mod, you take the Linux path, replace all the slashes with the backslash. And just at the very beginning, put in that Z, the, the Z drive in the very beginning. So I'm just going to copy this entire path. And I'm going to paste it into the Mobile mod. So here, just delete everything. Oh, the keyboard is glitching again. And just hit paste. That's all you need to do. Then hit next. And then hit install. And then it's going to install. So I will pause the recording and we'll be back once it's done. And we are back. So you can see that the Mogadima finished installing, and you can also see like in the background in the Final Fantasy IX folder, the Mogadima files are there. So it's definitely finished. So we just hit finish. And then now that the setup's complete, we go back into Steam. We no longer need this anymore. So we just go to right click, manage, remove non-Steam library from game. No, from library. Anyways, and then Final Fantasy IX, 
on the Han Mogi mod installed. So if we hit play, we'll see the, we'll see. Let's just check and make sure that it was actually installed. So let's give it a moment to launch and we will see. So you could see that the Mogrimon has indeed been successfully installed. You could see, you could toggle the settings, you know, 100% steal rate, whatever, all the settings for Mogrimon. So let's just, I'll just click 100% steal. Let's do it. And let's just hit play. And it'll just launch. And that's it.